Okay, friends, we, we can gather closer. We're about to begin our service. Just a gentle reminder, if anybody has a cell phone, please take a moment to turn it on silent. Officiating our service is Rabbi Shlomo Tenenbaum. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for being here. Um, okay, we s customarily start a funeral. There's a, um, a blessing that we say in the cemetery, which I think puts everything in a perspective. Blessed is God, King of the Universe, who gives us a life with a purpose, nourishes, nourishes and sustains us with a purpose, and takes our lives also when the time there's a purpose. God knows the sum total of what, what our job is in this world, and God will restore and resuscitate us again with a purpose. Blessed is God who resuscitates the dead. Uh, we as Jews believe that the although the body is temporary, the soul is eternal, and <clears throat> um, so and, um, okay. I'm going to uh, say uh, Psalm 23, uh, which was um, uh, uh, among those that was special to artists. Mizmor uh, leDavid Adonai Roi Lo Echzar. Binos Desha Yarbitsen al me minuchos in Aleni, Nafshi Yashoibe, and the Hindu Magle, etc. Man Shamo Gamki Elech, we get Salmovas or Iroro, Kiatoi Modi, Shiftahomi Shantecha, Emi and Achamuni, Taroch, Lufone Shulcha, Neged Sorora, Di Shanta Beshem and Roshi, Kosi Rivayo, Achto Vehesed, your Dufuni Kolyme Hayai, the Shafti Bebes at Noil Orach Yome. Psalm of David, God is my shepherd, I shall not lack. In lush, lush meadows he leads me down, beside tranquil waters he leads me. He restores my soul. He leads me on the paths of justice for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because God is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before before me in full view of my adversaries you have anointed my head with oil my cup overflows may only goodness and kindness pursue me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord for the length of days another uh, uh part of the uh, liturgy that was uh, um, in 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 artist's book and and meaningful to artists um, from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. It says, in, for in all times, uh, there's a, 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 a for, uh, there, there's a unique purpose under the heavens. There's a time to give birth, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot plants, a time to kill, a time to heal. time to break and a time to build, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to eulogize and a time to dance, a time to throw rocks and a time to collect rocks, uh, a, a time to hug and a time to distance, uh, a time to ask and a time to uh, lose, uh, a time to protect and a time to discard, a time to tear a time to sow, um, <clears throat> a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Uh, so it definitely sums up marriage. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, <clears throat> so we're here today to uh, pay fi our final respects to our uh, beloved friend, wife, uh, artist. And um, I'm going to ask Ted to uh, say a few words, and if somebody else would like to share a few words as well, I'll bring this to Ted. You know, 
only amplifying what I said at our wedding, and I met it then, and I mean it more today. She made me a better person, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> uh, so she, she loved being Jewish. She, she loved the state of Israel. She visited the state of Israel, been to Masada, and uh, w was distressed about what was recently happening there. She has relatives there, and uh, my heart goes out to them. And, uh, and her heart would do uh, if she realized what was happening. And that's all I have to say, basically. Thank you. had a memory or something they wanted to share we'll do from there or from here if you like I think I might have turned this off <coughs> <coughs> They started my dog walking business. Um, so, since it was very slow at the time, I met them and I started getting groceries for them and I saw how much artists loved animals. Um, I think that was a connection for us. So, during the past two years, I would bring some of my pets to their place so that she could have some animal time and I'd take her to the grocery store just to get a few things and we'd end up with the car loaded with groceries. <laughs> she loves ponies. Um, but she always told me about her dog Toots and some of her other critters. So um, I hope uh, she's reunited with them. My name is Luz. I met Ardis probably around 15 years ago. I used to work for her. She's, she used to be a very joyful person. She liked it to go out. She liked a lot animals, like you said. She will always try to get the best for his, her dog and the best for the people we were around her. I like her the way that she used to write so many letters and books, and she have a very beautiful writing, and the words that she expressed in her books and her thinking, it was just amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure now everybody in heaven is gonna be happy with her. Hi, my name is John. Um, Linda and I were helping the Beckmans a lot, moving and stuff in and out of storage. And she wrote me this beautiful handwritten note. It's... Whew. It was very spiritual and uh, very profound. It was a side of her I'd never seen before. I was deeply moved and I guess I still am. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, before I start, I, I, I thought I was going to read this. I'm not sure I can read it without crying, but I was, you know, I just randomly opened her book to one of the pages, and if you... You can substitute in almost every line the word pet to husband. And uh, she, when she wrote this, she didn't have a husband yet. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I think, uh, it, like I said, you know, if I, if I could read it without crying, I would, but I don't think I can. Um, you know, in... 
in life, sometimes you regret something you said in marriage. <laughs> Occasionally, you, you wish you could take something back that you, you know, came out in a, a moment of, uh, of passion. <clears throat> um, so, uh, I have three words I'm very blessed to have said. Um, when I first met Ted, uh, you know, they would do kind of just sitting, talking, and, uh, and you know, I asked him, you know, you know, where are you from, what do you do, uh, you know, kind of typical dumbbell questions you ask uh, somebody you just met, and, uh, and uh, I said, you know, you, you have your family, you ever been married, and, and he said something to the, uh, along the lines of, no, I've uh, never met anyone, and, uh, and I'm sure it's too late now. And, um, and, I, and I could have nodded and said, yeah, tough, you know, life can be harsh. So I said the, the following three words. I said, never say never. And, uh, um, and sure enough, shortly afterwards, he, uh, he, met, he met Artis. And, um, <clears throat> um, and, you know, they, they fell in love. Um, and you know, ideal as as evidence today. I do a lot of funerals, and I don't do that many weddings. Uh, so uh, um, I had the privilege of being involved in the wedding, and um, the uh, um, you know they decided to get married. And I would say I'm I'm you know in 40 years of doing the job I do. Um, like I said, I deal with a lot of loss and tragedy and pain. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I, I want to first personally express a great debt of gratitude to Ted and to Artis, um, because one of the real highlights of my, you know, I'm going to be 40 years at the, at the ARC, uh, coming up soon. And um, one of the, maybe the greatest highlight of my, all those years was their wedding. Um, you know, I had the privilege to, of uh, not just officiating, but to, um, you know, help them plan the wedding. In some ways, I was the father of the bride, <laughs> father of the groom. Uh, and, uh, and it was just a beautiful, exciting, fun time. Uh, <clears throat> um, in addition to officiating at the wedding, I was also the band. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, half the band. Uh, uh, yeah, at the same time, which uh, I don't recommend. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, it, it was, uh, and, and Artis was very specific about this wedding. Um, you know, she told me on more than one occasion that, uh, she had gone to wedding after wedding of, of friends and family for decades and decades and she knew exactly what her wedding should look like down to the way the room should look the exact kind of dress and and um you know i'm a little more, more laissez-faire you know and i understand women you know, that's not unheard of <laughs> that women have a certain image of what a wedding should be like but uh, she was very very specific and kind of miraculously um, we down to the last detail. We were able. She she wanted something. It was a balcony that overlooked the synagogue, and we in the Assurance Synagogue. Sure enough, was like the perfect place, and they let us make the wedding there, which is a really beautiful, it was a beautiful venue. And uh, she gave me a playlist of songs to play, and um, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know one of those songs. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, um, luckily, the, I, I, I played the violin, and uh, there was a gentleman named Seymour Rabin um, who played the uh, clarinet. So, so Seymour, he knew all the songs, luckily. And uh, once I heard them, then it kind of clicked and was able to play along. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, and, and I remember, I was very moved at the wedding. Uh, I really felt like I married... <laughs> Like marrying off, I mean, since then I've married off a couple of children, but it was, it was really like marrying off my own children. It was a very special day. And it still, like I said, really um, shines brightly in my heart. Um, and, you 
that are usually when you give a eulogy, it's it's about death and loss, and usually uh, weddings are the cornerstone. Uh, but uh, for me, that's uh, you know certainly my brightest memory, and uh, um, you know she she was a unique person, very bright, very articulate. Um, and, you know, I, I don't want to use the word stubborn, which she was, uh, but, but, you know, she was intelligent and w just well-reasoned, you know, so there was no half-baked, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. It was, uh -huh. Yeah, there was, yeah, nothing half-baked. I mean, she was really well-reasoned. Uh, she had an opinion. She was, uh, she was... <laughs> Right. Right. She, yeah. Yeah. Very intellectually honest, and and also with spiritual things. There was nothing half baked. Whatever she did, she did a hundred and twenty five percent. And uh, you know, I I um, I saw, you know, I, I I personally feel very blessed to have had her and Ted in my life. You know, we, uh, you know, they moved a little out of the neighborhood, so I haven't seen them as much. Hopefully now we will be a little more in co uh, contact than we've been. Um, but, you know, just, I, I feel very blessed to have had her in my life. And, you know, I, I know that, um, you know, one of the unique things she had uh, made beautiful friends, which is in evidence today. And she kept the friends, you know, for decades and decades and decades. And, Right, she outlived uh, many of her friends, and I remember uh, meeting her dear friend Helen, who was my namesake, also uh, same last name. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, and uh, okay, but uh, you know, thank God, all all of these wonderful friends, and you know, Ted's here to keep her memory alive and keep her light shining. Um, you know, the uh, the funeral director Yehuda and I do a lot of funerals where. Where it's just me and him and and the deceased and there's like and it's sad you know there's nobody is going to carry this person's memory with them afterwards so um, today that's not true her memories and her legacy will stay alive um, <clears throat> you know and and, uh, and I also feel good that you know um, you know there's a beautiful group of people here that will hopefully you know kind of keep uh, keep an eye on Ted and. <laughs> sure that he's going to be okay um you know the um you know to, i'll end with tonight is a uh, uh, uh the tenth of teves which is a uh, in the jewish calendar it's a fast day and um it it marks the beginning of the destruction of the temple okay. Ugh. sorry everybody listen to the Everybody listens to the funeral director but me. Uh, 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 the, uh, yeah, uh, um, <coughs> and, um, you know, t and so, in in and it's, um, you know, it's when the bre first breach of Jerusalem happened and which eventually led to the destruction of the temple. And um, so, as I think as Ted, you know, enters, uh, you know, the week of Shiva, so, you know, uh, the, all the whole Jewish people is grieving with you. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, and the best way to grieve is to know that you have friends that love you and care about you. So, you know, we should all, all you know, all, you know kind of just be there for Ted in every important way. And, uh, okay, okay. Do you have that?
This is a bag of earth from Israel. to tear a garment which we're going to do now and it's uh, it's uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 you've lost a piece of yourself yeah, I did. Uh, today so it was a long time ago uh, we do it over the heart to uh, you know, kind of demonstrate how our heart is, is torn, torn apart Customary to, if anybody would like to participate, to uh, put a little earth on, and um, the um, you know it's sort of. I always look at uh, this as 
you know, you know, when you put all your, you know, someone you love, you tuck them in for a rest, and so this is our last, last ability to do that, and I'm going to
jelly time. Well, it, it, um, my dear friend Jeremy came to uh, make it, help us make a minion, so I'm going to grab a cottage quick while we have him. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, uh, you, uh, you ready, Ted? Yiskadal, Yiskadash, Me Rabah, Yomad, Yirach, Yiruse, Yamlich, Machose, Yachayechon, Yomechon, Yachayechon, Yachayechon, Bagala Bisman Kariv Imru Amen Yehesh Me Rabum Varach Lam Me Amaya Yisbarach Yishtabach Yisbar Yismam Yisnase Yisadar Yisalev Yisalal Shmeir Kudsha Rechu Leila Min Kal Berchasa Vishrasa Tushbachasa Vnechamasa Damiram Balma Imru Amen Yehei Shlom Araba Min Shamay Vachayim Aleinu Al Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen Ose Shalom Aravu Yase Shalom Aleinu Al Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen Okay, thank you very much. Just not the first time Jeremy's been here right at the minute I needed him, so thank you. Yeah, we'll try to do it. Um, you know, there's a custom. Uh, just to, oh, I didn't do Kel Mole. Uh, so I'm do the Kel Mole prayer, and then um, there's a custom called Shura, which uh, we'll we'll set up in a minute uh, on our way back to to our vehicles. Yeah, I'll throw in a Lisa. Hulonim Tapo, Ayub Mikorashim. El Melerachami, Shochein Mamromim, Amse Minuchan Uchonal, Kanfeashkina, the Malos Kadoshim Tarim, Kazar Hari, Harakia Masirim, Es Nishmas, Chaya Rifka, Aliza. Bas Shlomo Sholcha Lolama Bavor Shemis Palimad Haskaras Nishmasa Began Eden Taman Uchasa Lechain Baral Rachamim Yasti Reha Besaser Knofav Lilamim Yitzror Bitsora Hachaim Es Nishmasa Adenoi Hunachlosav Sanua Chalmishkava Vinomar Amen God full of mercy who dwells on high, grant proper rest in the wings of the divine presence and the highest levels of the heavens to the soul who's, who, uh, who shines like the brightness of the stars to Ardis who has gone to her world and for whom we will pray. May her resting place be in the Garden of Eden. Therefore, may the Master of Mercy shelter her in the shelter of his wings for eternity. May he bind her soul in the everlasting bond of life. God is his her God is her heritage. God is her heritage. May she repose in peace in a resting place. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Okay. And it, um, it's customary to do something called a shura, uh, which can make, uh, just to say words of consolation. Everybody wants to come and just to, to face Ted as a community welcoming him to this period called Shiva. So maybe the friends want to come on this side? Yeah, they even do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 some people line up here. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, 
and uh, you know, uh, there's a traditional uh, um, consolation that we say. Uh, you could join, join me if you like. Hamakom, Yenachem, Eschem, Besoch, Shar, Avele, Zion, Yerushalayim. God should console you amongst the all other mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. And and in Hebrew we say it's plural because we're also talking to artists, and uh, the God should console her for she she's in a better place, but she's missing Ted and Ted's missing her. Okay. And, uh, that uh, that uh, concludes the service. And I know Ted is going to try to have some sort of shiva, so the, uh, but he hadn't wasn't able to arrange it all yet. So maybe stay in touch with him, and he'll let you know where somewhere in the building uh, at some point. Uh, so. Okay, thank you, friends. This concludes the service. At this time, we'll ask the cemetery staff to help close the grave. Thank you. <laughs>